strength work for runners. Your physio probably would have told you a million times that you should be doing it. You would have seen some exercises on Instagram, but where do you start? What kind of workouts you should be doing? When should you be doing them? In this video, I'm gonna try and guide you to hopefully understand a little bit better how you should be scheduling those strength workouts into your own training. I'm Vlad Excel, I'm a professional runner and strength work has been a big part of my own training. For the past eight years, I've been doing about 15 to 20 minutes of strength work every single day and that's helped me stay injury free and pretty much run every single day for the last eight years. Hopefully you would have seen some of my workout for runners on this channel before and hopefully you would have done some yourself. One of the most common questions that I get in the comments and on DMs on Instagram is how should I schedule strength training into my own training? Pretty simple question but a very hard one to answer when I personally don't know the runner, their level, their race goal and their schedule. But hopefully with this video you get a better understanding on how you can try and design your own schedule. So first of all, let's talk about strength training for runners. The way that I look at it, it's a side dish to your training. So as a runner, running is your main sport and strength training is just a little piece out of the puzzle to complete the whole picture. The same as sleep and mobility and diet are all little pieces in that puzzle that we're trying to put together that can improve our running strength work is one of those little pieces. And I personally believe that you should never really overdo your strength training, that it will affect your running. So if you go to the gym and do an hour and a half of strength specific workouts, and the next day you go for a run and your glutes are sore and your calves are tight, that means you've overdone it and you might actually be slowing down your improvements as a runner. That can also mean that you increase the chance of injury because now you have to compensate the way you run because some parts of your body are tight. So advice number one is definitely try and break it down so you never overdo it. I see that there's a lot more benefit in doing four sessions of 15 minutes a week rather than doing one long one hour session a week. This will allow you to actually get a lot more out of your time as well as you don't have to block a whole hour for strength training once a week and you can rather try and fit smaller sessions during the week. So you're probably asking yourself how much strength workout I should be doing and when should I be doing it? And if we have a look at the basic training schedule of a lot of marathon runners, for example, we know that Tuesday is a key session that could be intervals or speed work, Thursday could be tempo or threshold, and Sunday is long run. That's exactly the way that I train, so hopefully that gives you a better idea of how I structure my own training. On those key session days, those hard running days, I usually do an easier strength session or a recovery session, really depending on how I'm feeling on the day and how hard that session was. So that means on a Tuesday when I do my speed work in the afternoon, in the morning I might do a very basic stability workout. And that might take only 10 minutes and I might do it straight after breakfast. And then at night after my session, I might do about 10, 15 minutes of yoga just to kind of open up the joints after that hard session. And same goes for a Thursday. That's a hard tempo threshold run for me. So that means that I might do 10, 15 minutes of an easy workout in the morning and then a 15 to 20 minutes recovery few hours after I finish the session. But then on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday where I'm trying to target my strength sessions a little bit more. So for example, if I have a weakness, if I know that I usually roll my ankles on the trails, that'll be a good day to do a little bit more stability, balance work on your feet and on your ankles. If you know that you have weak glutes that are not firing correctly, that's the good days that you wanna be doing your harder sessions on. So if we look at it in a very basic way, means that hard run means an easy strength session, easy run means a harder strength session. So what I personally try and do is I try and keep as much time as I can between my run and between my strength session. So if I know that I'm running in the morning, I'm gonna do my strength session at night. If I'm running at night, I'm gonna do my strength session in the morning. That way I give my body enough time to recover from the run to the strength session or the other way around. So as a distance runner, please remember that you don't have to overdo the strength training. It's all about consistency and don't focus too much about being fancy 
and trying to do some complicated strength exercises, trying to get at least the basics in so that way your base strength is very, very strong and that you decrease the chances of injury and you have a chance to run longer and stronger for years to come. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you have any comments or suggestions for any other videos I should be doing, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.